Hello viewers, thanks for tuning in to my station. Uh, today I'm going to do a review on a product I purchased uh, that I didn't know that I needed. Uh, I have an upcoming uh, event where I'm going to have a booth uh, as a vendor uh, and this location is going to be outdoors. So I'm not going to have any access to any power or electricity. I want to have a video monitor. Um, in this case, this is a half laptop, half tablet. Um, and I want to be able to pr provide a video for the people that visit my booth. But I need electricity for this. This thing is only going to last me like a couple hours and I'm required to be there for about four or five hours. So I needed something else. But this is not chargeable by a regular USB cable. So a lot of the power banks that are popular um, and that I have are USB based only. So you can charge your cell phones, you can charge your tablets, other small devices, maybe cameras. Uh, but this actually has a regular three prong plug AC um, cord for it. So I needed to find some kind of power bank that would let me use an irregular electrical outlet. What I found on Amazon was a product by RAV Power. It is a portable power outlet uh, and has in the box the actual power outlet. the cord for charging the power outlet, and it comes with a couple of USBs. Um, all right. well, this power outlet is recommended for 50 watts or below. So if your particular charger has on it that it's 60, 75 watts, uh, it's not going to be able to power it. They do have bigger versions of this that handle uh, much larger load capacity. Uh, it recommends it for 50 or less, although it does say 65 watts max. Um, my particular unit here uh, is HP Envy 2, and it is its power brick says 45 watts, so I'm right there under the uh, recommended limit. This particular model has iSmart USB. All right, what iSmart is is um, technology that recognizes how much power your device needs um, optimally to charge. So iSmart will detect that and it will deliver the proper amount of power for your device. Uh, it also has a type C USB. Um, this is a, a newer type of USB, uh, not, not the traditional ones that you might be used to seeing, uh, just regular ones like this. Uh, but uh, what it'll allow for is you'll be able to flip your USB whichever way you want. <laughs> you'll never have the problem of uh, guessing, missing, guessing, missing, guessing, missing, and then finally getting it. Uh, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. It's kind of like the, uh, the Apple Lightning cable. Uh, it can be plugged in either way. Um, or uh, the batteries for the phantoms uh, when you plug them into their charger you can plug them in either way um, uh, so what the, the most important part of this for me was the AC outlet uh, you'll see it has three holes however uh, it really only supports a two prong and what I mean by that is this third one uh, if you have a three prong plug it'll go in there but electricity is not going to flow um, through that or it's not going to do anything. It's the only thing that's going to really be functional are these two holes But you can still use a three-prong electrical um, plug All right, well RAV power claims that for in optimal conditions This should be able to charge an iPhone 7 about six times um, If you got a Galaxy S7 it should be able to charge it four and a half times if you have a MacBook, um, like a small MacBook, uh, it says you should be able to charge it at least one time. Now understand that these claims are based off optimal conditions, so like a brand new phone. Now if you had your iPhone now for two years, uh, there's a pretty good chance it's not going to charge up seven times. It's just not. 
Well, this particular power bank from RAV Power will take about four hours to power up and charge itself up. Uh, it has LEDs across the front, which indicate uh, how much juice it has um, in there. Uh, when you're charging uh, the station itself, uh, these will blink. Um, it says blink, but it's more like a fade. So it fades in and out, in and out, in and out as you're charging, and they move up incrementally as the particular bank gets full. Uh, in order to use this, um, AC outlet you need to plug it in but then also you will need to hold this power button for a few seconds until you see that green light turn on once the green lights turned on it means this is charging when it gets fully charged um, your, your your item or your product this green light will disappear and turn off uh, if you want it to turn off before then hold it down again and the light will go off. Um, this power bank has air vents along the bottom. I call it the bottom because it looks like it should stand up this way. Um, although this is blocking a lot of airflow coming out of these vents, so most likely you're gonna wanna leave it on its side. Uh, but the air vents are just along here on all four corners. This is about six inches tall. Um, not quite, it's a little shy of six inches and two and a half inches square this way. All right. um, it weighs just, just a little over a pound. All right, well, again, the reason I purchased this was to power this out in the open without electricity. Um, again, this is a HP Envy X2, which is a half tablet, half uh, PC. Comes with a detachable keyboard. And the AC adapter on it says that it is um, 45 watts. So again, like I mentioned below, this is recommended for 50 or below, max is 65. Um, so I decided um, why not do a review on this and really experiment and see how well this thing performs, at least right out of the box. Um, so what I did is I did a control test and I took this, unplugged it, and uh, while it was full, it was fully charged, unplugged it, and uh, waited for the battery to drain. Let's see how long that takes. Okay, well, so it took two hours, 38 minutes for this to drain all by itself. Now I know new ones of these claim like 20 something hours of battery life. Now keep in mind that this was on full blast, so I didn't have a lot of power saving features turned on. Um, I was trying not to dim the screen because I'd have no intention of dimming the screen uh, at my booth um, while uh, out outdoors. So. I wanted it to be as bright as possible. So two hours, 38 minutes, um, and, and that's how long it took. Um, which isn't really that bad, considering this, this computer is probably uh, three to five years old. All right. Um, okay, well, let's see now how long it takes to take a fully charged RAV power power bank and charge this back up all by itself. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, well, it lasted for an hour and 11 minutes. Uh, it didn't quite charge it all the way up. Um, not even close, actually. Um, it, only made it up to 68%, uh, but then, like immediately after it started draining, it took a big 10% drop down, boom, right off the jump, according to what my computer said. Um, so maybe it didn't actually get up to 68%, maybe the computer made uh, a faux pas, but uh, 
after that it started draining at the regular pace that it was before you know so uh, hmm. that that wasn't good so if if I was to use this outside no power um, let it drain almost all the way down and before it dies plug it into this I'm only gonna get another hour out of it that's that's not really that great so so the hypothesis is a couple things right so if if I do it that way I will get the was it uh, I'll get about four hours out of it so I'll get the two hours and 38 minutes it takes to fully drain and then I'll get the hour and 11 minutes to continue powering it on, on some level well that's only three hours and 49 minutes uh, do you think that maybe maybe if this was 100% powered and this was 100% powered and we combine them together, combine their efforts together to power this, do you think it would last longer since it was under a little bit more optimal conditions? After all, this is really thirsty having been drained all the way. So it might be that it's taking a bigger toll on this uh, being drained than being you know using it at a more natural rate well, let's try let's try I went ahead and I set it up full power full power plug it in let's see Pleasantly surprised. Um, I guess second theory was right. Hypothesis two wins. All right, so with this being fully powered, this being fully powered, I got five hours and 39 minutes. All right, so before the other hypothesis that I would only get three hours and 49 minutes, um, so I got an additional um, almost hour and 30 minutes out of it. So that's good. So five hours and 39 minutes, that's what I need. That's what I need, this should be fine. So between this and this, under optimal conditions, I should be able to last. Well, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you've made it here to the end. And if you liked it, I hope you give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Most of my videos are based around drones, um, but that's not all I do. Um, but if you wanna see some great drone videos, check out some of my other videos and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.